I think this is working. Hi to people of Earth and Beyond. I just wanted to make a quick video. I keep saying that. Maybe I should say something different. I wanted to make a video. I wanted to make a video. That's all I wanted to do. I want to make a video about the most common NFT scams because I am generally learning a lot about this space in the last year or so. And uh, there's a lot of scams. There are a lot of them. And then this is also coming from someone who has personally been scammed, have had many people contact me about things that are probably not true. Uh, but I just wanted to show you a couple couple tips that I thought were true, but then you don't really internalize until you're in that moment. So I uh, just wanted to both explain and then also make you feel less bad if you have been scammed, because it's definitely a hard situation to deal with. Where is my screen? Let's go back over here. Okay, so you can see my screen, hopefully. And if you can't, then that might be a problem. Uh, but my, my screen is what I'm going to be using to talk about everything right now. Going over to Instagram, you can see my Instagram, everything. Uh, and not, not really, you can't really see very much here. But if I go over into messages, this is the difficult situation here. So these are people that I know, uh, and most of them are friends. But if you go over here into general, I have put different NFT accounts or accounts that have contacted me over here that were continually annoying me, honestly, uh, and also ones that have been very clearly mm, not super trustworthy. So one thing you have to note is if anybody... This is a rule of thumb. Maybe if you have a different example, then I would love to hear it. And I would love to understand exactly how you discovered this person, but then also how you figured out if they were not a scam, because it's very hard to find out, very hard to find out information unless you're asking people for like, they're literally their ID and even that they can forge. Uh, but if people reach out to you on social media and tell you about how they might want to make a deal, they want to verify they want to, what is it, do a secure transaction, anything other than just going and purchasing your NFT and even like asking for the story behind your art. I had somebody do that and then it turned out, I think it was a bot. So it just really depends on who you're dealing with. But anybody who reaches out to you on social media, be very aware and also do not follow any of the links that they give you. Go look up that link on Google. Uh, go type in the name of the link, like the general name. Also, the thing that I was got with, so a little story here. Uh, I use OpenSea generally, but the thing that somebody got me on was OpenSea with a, it looked exactly like OpenSea. And they said uh, it was a secure transaction. And I looked it up and anti-money laundering is a practice that is used. There's not very much information on exactly how it works. So I was like, okay, maybe this is how it works. And then of course you go down the road thinking, well, I could make 2K, this seems legit. All of the other red flags that this is a scam were not going off. The person is very articulate, uh, is not pushing me very hard, not pressuring me and not getting mad at me. And then they're also being pretty genuine and seeming to be like, oh yeah, contact support, talk to them. Okay, that was also a good sign in my head. Got to be careful though, because on OpenSea, if you'll notice, if I go over here onto just the general uh, discard changes, if I go over here, there is no chat function down here. If you guys don't notice that, there's no chat. There is contact them through their support uh, or discord or something like that and there's also resources here so you can go on to here and ask questions and then i think there's where is it there's something with support how do i stay protected i think this is support faqs and then you can go it'll take you to a certain place let's see if i can find it help center there we go Yes, this is what I was looking for. So if you need help with any of these things, you go through here. And of course, it makes sense. It's a bigger entity, so it's not going to be just very direct. And then literally, you see this up here. If it seems fraudulent, it probably is. OpenSea will never DM you first or ask you to send funds in order to sell an item or resolve the transaction failure. This is a common one that's coming up right now. And this is one of the ones that happened to me. It literally, this is this is happening right now. And this is why this is on here. I'm sure they're getting tons of reports. So be sure that when you are clicking on anything that says OpenSea, first of all, there's no chat on OpenSea. Doesn't exist. Even if you would like it to exist, it does not exist. And there's the cat. Uh, and then... The other thing too is it has to be this exact link. 
So if there look if something looks weird about the link, like if it just doesn't look right for some reason, no, just don't do it. Even if it says like transactions dot open, like no, this is just OpenSea.io something. Stay with this link because if you take another link or take another link from another account that somebody sent you, you're going to be going to a malicious site that looks exactly like the one that you are trying to be on. So this is again my own personal experience. This is very specifically with OpenSea. I'm sure it happens with many other sites. If you do not trust a site or a link, basically, so if somebody sends you a site or a link, just don't follow it. Go look up that name, see if it's legit, see if you can find any information on it. If not, just don't. Uh, and also whenever somebody says there was an error with your transaction and we need this certain amount of money, or we need you to go mint on this site, or we need you to go give access to this or go any of that going externally is usually a very big red flag if they're making you go somewhere else. Even if they're like, oh, what's your email? So I can verify that this is you or, or what is your discord? What is your Instagram information? What is this? Anything that they're asking you that's personal information, even if it's not directly like, oh yeah, your social security number or anything, still don't give it. Don't. They, there's ways that people can do things, especially through like PayPal, through a lot of other methods. Be very careful with what you give out. Uh, you can give out maybe your name, things that are on your profile, as long as they're not super incriminating. But I'd still very much recommend that you don't do any of those things. So um, I think that's the most, the one that I went through and the one that's most common. So basically this exact statement right here is what happened to me. If it seems fraudulent, probably is OpenSea will never DM you or ask you to send funds to a secure wallet. Don't send them to the secure wallet of what OpenSea support on the chat box is telling you to send them. It's very difficult uh, to sell or resolve a transaction failure. That's not how it works. That is just not how it works. So hopefully this helps somebody at some point. And then also the mentality that I had going into this also was uh, innocent until proven guilty because I had no idea how many people are scamming. Unfortunately, it's a lot of them, but I really had no idea. And that led me into a lot of conversations with people that maybe were less than helpful for my mental health. Uh, some people that end up getting very mad at me for not wanting to email their very sketchy email address. Uh, some people that end up telling me that they're getting beaten to just get me to send money to them. And that's the one that set me off. I was like, mm, no, I really hope that this is not a real person now because that's horrible. And also, no, that's not a thing. A random person on the internet would probably tell me. So there's just a lot of really, you kind of have to be in the space and see all of these different things to understand how many scams there are. The biggest ones I think, and the biggest rules that I would say, I know that if you're a digital artist like me, and this, I'm calling myself out here, you want it to be true so bad. You want that person to want to be spending 2K, 4K, 7K on your artwork. You want that to be true. And and when you get into the NFT space, you're like, oh my gosh, maybe that is true. Maybe that is how this works, where I make one and it's in such high demand that somebody wants to spend that much. And just, it's really just not true. I uh, Most things go for a much lower price. Be more reasonable with yourself and say, okay, I'm willing to take on the slow build and to build my pro profile and portfolio in this way, rather than trying to sell as many things as possible very quickly. That is the allure of the space. But if you want to do it right, if you want to do any business right, you got to be patient. Next thing, there's a lot of people that are going to send you links or tell you that you have to verify your account with a third party, or you have to use this third party to mint because they have a contract with them. No, just Look up the site that you want to mint on. Look up the sites that you trust. I, I've been going with Wearable and OpenSea, OpenSea particularly because it's one of the biggest ones. And also uh, it is helpful for not having to pay to mint up front. But just be aware of that information on there. Also read what's happening in the community forum. So I'm going to go back over here to the MetaMask community forum. All of this information is going to be very helpful for you too. Uh, some people will message in here and say, is this a scam and send a website link. Of course, don't click on the website link, but you'll probably see most people saying, yes, it probably is. Yes, it most likely is. Yes, don't click on that and don't go there. Don't connect your wallet because once you connect that wallet, it's basically, if you imagine, this is how I imagine it. If you take a wallet and a scammer's hand and you put it together, then they can take what they want out of your wallet. So just be aware of that. Don't connect anything to a site that you are not familiar with. Uh, and that's, that's really it. That's all I can say. I know it's really tempting and I know you want to sell those things for more as much as you can. And trust me, I was there. 
I'm, I'm still here. I mean, it's really nice to have somebody reach out and be like, Hey, by the way, can you go mint on this particular site? And then I'll buy your artwork for $8,000 for this amount, like crazy amounts to me. I'm like, Oh, wow. I'm a new artist or I'm a you know person that doesn't do this crazy professionally. Well, well, this means that this space is really cool and that I can get a lot of money here. Uh, no, they're just trying to scam you. And there's a lot of that happening. So basically just a warning. Uh, and as much as I can help follow the guidelines that are put out there. And then the top thing that I've found to do, looking at the bigger sites, specifically like OpenSea or MetaMask or the blogs and community places where there's information and learning myself. So all of the learning that I've done, I have trusted pretty much nobody in this space. And the one I did, I got scammed. So don't trust anybody in this space. And if you don't want to trust me, that's totally cool. I, I understand. I really do. Uh, people are, <laughs> I like to believe in the best in people and put value out there, but there's a lot of people that are not doing the same thing, especially in this new area. So just wanted to mention that and uh, also say, do your own reading, do your own research, not from someone else's recommendations, but do your own research on these bigger sites that are reputable. Coinbase is also a good one for, for specifically learning about crypto. There's a lot of them that you'll probably find and you can get recommendations from friends and people that you actually maybe do trust other than in this area. But if you meet people on chat rooms and if you meet people that are trying to get money from you and they're telling you they give you this recommendation, you do not want to follow their recommendations at all. You want to block them. <laughs> and I have, again, learned this the hard way, but I kind of had to, to understand and be able to get through this myself and then provide value for other people. So this is my, this is my story. And uh, hopefully this was helpful for somebody. Basically the big, biggest piece of information I can give you is just don't follow links that were sent to you from someone else. Don't follow someone else's advice. Uh, and of course, I'm giving you advice right now while saying that. Also, if the site looks suspicious, it probably is. And that it's so funny because there's been things where I was like, oh, maybe it's not. Well, maybe I was second guessing. Maybe this is, no, it probably is. It's, it's unfortunate, but it's really impressive how good a sense we have for those kind of things that seem suspicious and weird. Uh, yeah. So that is the most common NF ski scams that I have been through and the best information that I can give you so far. I will keep you updated on these situations. If something else happens or something new, then that's information that you can hopefully have. All right. I am out and we'll see if this microphone actually works. And if it doesn't, then I'll be making this again. <laughs> All right. Bye.